One key aspect of fighting the spread of the virus is tracking down those who've had contact with someone who's infected. News Channel reporter Senator De Los Santos spoke with Ventura County health experts about plans to beef up what's known as contact tracing. That's right, contact tracing is not a new effort for Ventura County. The health department has been doing it since the virus broke out, but now public health is expanding its efforts in a major way. We want to make sure when we're calling them, it's only supportive, it's only to, to help them. Ventura All County them. Public Health is in the process of training 60 new contact tracers. That's triple the number from just a month ago. I believe one public health nurse with 10 contact tracers and so they're going to work together as a team to make sure that each positive uh, COVID case in Ventura County has the contact tracing um, staff to work with them. Every time there is a positive COVID-19 lab test, it's reported directly to the Ventura County Public Health Department. Public health nurse interview each positive lab case, confirmed case, and during that interview, we will find out who lives in the house. We will find out if they're working. We will ask them if they've been out. The contact tracers will then get in contact with anyone who has been exposed. Then they will ask them to monitor themselves, checking their temperature twice a day. Contact investigators reach out in several ways, including calling and making home visits. And if it's someone that is refusing, we will definitely consult with our health officer uh, to, to look into next steps. The person who originally tested positive stays in isolation for 14 days. Ventura County will provide a free hotel room and meals if patients can't easily isolate. Or if we determine that there might be a high risk family members such as a senior. We have a special housing program that we can offer them. The Public Health Department is following the CDC guidelines when it comes to contact tracing, and that goes as far as training its staff members. In Oxnard, News Channel reporter Senator De Los Santos.